In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get up off the ground and back onto the ground with back pain. This is a lot of times a pain trigger for people. They do it, they get down, and their back pain begins that point in the day. Let's decrease pain triggers, let's learn how to do it properly. Stay tuned. All right, now this is gonna seem like a really silly, very silly uh, video, but getting to the ground when you have back pain is actually, it's funny, people have a lot of, they're triggering their pain all the time, especially if they're flexion intolerant. So before we start, just realize that flexion is rounding from here, okay? It doesn't have to take a lot. Sometimes people just micro movement, it can set them off. So if you can see it, that's gross movement, that's macro movement, it's a lot of movement, okay? So oftentimes, I'll play this game with people, I have them get to the ground, they don't think I'm watching, and I'll snap my fingers and say, look, stop, you're flexing, you're triggering, let's do this a better way, let's make this a better strategy. Now getting to the ground, there's a really good way to do it, okay? So this is gonna seem like it's a lot of steps, but realistically, you get to the ground, if you don't trigger your pain with back pain, we're, we're in, a, in a much better place, okay? So first thing I like is, is stepping back, okay? Just check my back out right here. If there's any point that I actually round, just tell me and snap your fingers. Comment on the bottom, please put the minute mark, okay? Next step is here. Next step is creep the hands, tarantula crawl. Now you're in quadruped four point position, which is where we do our bird dog and so on. You can do a lot more exercises right here. Now to get to the ground, you have a couple different options. If you're strong, you can just go into a push up to get back up, it's the same thing. Push the hips back, and a lot of times you will succeed. Another thing is you, is you can, you can kind of sprawl out like this, all right? Next thing is I like, is I just call it break dancing, okay? You're gonna slide this out here. You're gonna turn, you can position your knee right here, go on to your side. Notice I'm still straight right here not laxing, and then you can get onto your back. Actually, that's a bad strategy right there. So we're gonna go here, slide, roll. Now, once you're here, actually log rolling is a really easy way to win, okay? So log rolling, just keep your thing all together. Turn like this, push, brace, pull the rib through, make sure you don't lean either. Hands here, break dance, Hand, knee. Now we're in that quadru quadruped position, okay? You gotta get back up. Hips back, creep, 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 creep. Now this is a spot where a lot of people tend to lose their position. Getting from the ground to the hands. They tend to round this way. I suggest whenever you're to a position that's kind of like a high risk, um, four point breathe or brace, some people like to think of it as coughing. <laughs> You'll feel pressure go within this area right there. Hold the end of the cough or the exhale, go high into a tall kneel, half kneeling, bracing, and this is the hardest part for a lot of people, and this is one of the reasons why you need to strengthen your hips and legs. Brace, stand tall to a split squat, stand up. So that's pretty simple. Now, if you have to get up from this position, you can hold ski poles or poles, you can hold a chair, which I'm looking at over there. You can put a chair right next to you. Just don't lean on it, okay? I can't stress this enough. If you have any questions about why this is so important, there's a whole section I'm doing on pain triggers, which is a highly, highly, highly correlated thing with back pain. Now, if you're wondering, in, I guess in your terms, you can think, of, well, what the heck is a pain trigger? Well, it's posture. If you lose posture, you stress certain spots of the spine, you stress the disc, you stress the, um, the nerves, which can create sciatica and things like that. Posture is extremely important. Now, if you have any questions on this, I have a whole huge article, as well as very detailed podcast with Dr. Stuart McGill in the link below. Go to that, you'll find, it the, you'll find his interview at the very bottom, and we went through some really, really good stuff, which will be helpful to you guys. If you have back pain questions, I guarantee that's one of the best resources you're ever gonna get. See you guys tomorrow, share with a friend, thumbs up if you like this. Talk to you guys tomorrow.